Hey everybody, it's entertaining expert Mark Addison, author of the best in the world winning book, Cocktail Chameleon. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make three classic cocktails you can make at home just like the pros. Next, we're gonna make a classic martini. And when I say classic martini, I mean a gin martini. If you make your martinis with vodka, you really have to call it a vodka martini and you're gonna to wanna to change up the proportions in the ingredients. So now to serve our classic martini, we're gonna be using the Graphique's martini glass, naturally. To shake or to stir, that is the question. I always prefer to shake a martini because you wanna chill it down really well because ultimately you're gonna be serving it straight up, which means without ice and you're gonna want it to be really, really well chilled. To start off, we're gonna take our mixing glass and fill it with ice. Now, the classic proportions for a classic martini is five parts gin to one part vermouth. So that means you can scale this up to a pitcher to serve multiple people, but when serving a single serving, it will be two and a half ounces. There's two and a half of a good quality gin. Now to that, I'm gonna add a half an ounce of a dry vermouth. That's my five to one ratio. We'll take the contents of our mixing glass and put it into our mixing shaker tin. Tap it on the glass to make sure that it's well sealed and give it a good shake. Now, the rule of thumb in shaking is until your thumb freezes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You wanna shake it until it's very, very, very cold to the touch. And what I'm doing is I'm breaking up that ice and the ice is melting and the liquid, or the water, becomes an integral part or ingredient in the martini. So we'll pour it back into our mixing glass so we can see the frosty, cocktail inside. It's all part of the fun of making a cocktail. Put down our cocktail napkin because it's proper presentation and we are going to use a Hawthorne strainer and we are going to strain it into our martini glass. That looks frosty and delicious. Now next to garnish you can simply add an olive or you can use some cocktail onions or a twist, and I actually like to add all three. I'm gonna take a piece of lemon peel and a Kristoff dagger style cocktail pick, and I'm gonna pierce the skin of the lemon peel. Then I'm going to add a cocktail onion. I'm going to pierce the lemon peel again, and I'm going to add a cocktail olive. And then finally piercing it at the very end to get this sort of S curve in my lemon peel. And then I'm gonna simply just put that into my martini glass. And there we have it, the classic martini for those classic cocktail hours. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you picked up a few tips on creating these classic cocktails that you can create easily at home, just like the pros. Cheers.